Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well yesterday we created this sticky custom menu up here. It's pretty basic just with a logo, the menu and a couple of social media icons to take people to your social media sites. And we had a great question actually under this and I should have thought of this. Some guy said, uh, how, do you, how does it look on mobile? Well, that's a great question because it's really important to think about mobile. So I'm using Google Chrome here. I'm going to use the Chrome Inspector to flip it over to the mobile version. Just hit F12 there. And as you can see, it works perfectly. We've got our logo at the top because we center aligned it. So it's top middle. Then we've got our menu that collapses down to a hamburger menu. And below that, we've got social media icons again centered. They're all centered. So this works absolutely perfectly. And if we look at it on our iPad, again, that works fine. Let's make it a decent size. There we go. That's how it looks on the iPad. Again, that works perfectly. But what we're going to demo today is the fact that you can change things around and you can add things and have them one show on an iPad and one show on a mobile and, and completely different one show on the main menu so let's get rid of that put it back to how we are and we'll get started if you enjoy this video today please hit the subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner so the first thing I'm going to do is go to my theme builder and to get there go to your dashboard down to Divi and there's theme builder right there now here's the global header that we created yesterday And let's just add some stuff to it. I'll just plop in another module below this one. Um, I'll just put in a bit of dynamic content. Let's have the date up there. Get rid of the content here. And the little disc like icon there or multi disc icon is dynamic content. Let's put in the current date. I'll keep it simple. I'm not going to put anything before or after. If you want text before or after it, put it in there. Design wise, I'm going to keep it simple again. I'm just going to center align it. There we go. And let's make it blue perhaps. Great. Moving on. Let's put something under here. Let's put a countdown timer or something. And perhaps say that there's a sale on. And there we go. Select the date. Whatever you want yours to say. And design wise, I'll make everything blue, I guess. I just want to make sure everything's aligned center. Yep, it is great. And I'll take that background away. It looks like I still got to do the uh, label text. There we go. And I'll take that background away. Great. Now let's do perhaps a call to action down here, subscribe button or something. Take them to the contact page. reason that button's purple right there is because that's the way I've got it set up in my customizer. Actually, it's going to have round corners. There we go. It's going to be like that when we save it. And let's align that into the middle. So when it collapses on other devices, it's still OK there. But I might shift this sail just up a little bit. It may encroach on those. OK, well, let's save this and see how it looks on devices. I suspect it's going to look way too busy on mobile for sure. It might be all right on the tablet. So let's save this. What we'll exit, make sure our changes are saved. Now let's refresh and we should have our new menu up here or menu with additions. There it is right there. OK, well, let's check it out on mobile. Like I say, it's probably going to look too busy. So let's hit the F12 and we'll toggle it. That's iPad right there. It's not too bad, actually. It is a little busy. 
but you can get to everything. Um, might decide to get rid of the subscribe and the timer on that one. Let's look at it on a phone. That's actually okay, but again, I'm probably going to get rid of certainly the sale and the subscribe. So it's not quite so busy, but it actually works better than I thought it would crowdedness wise. So let's do that. We'll go back into our uh, theme builder, back into our global header. Now I'm happy with the date being there, but I'm going to hide the countdown timer on mobile and let's hide it on tablet as well. So I'm going to go in there. I'm going to go over to advanced to visibility, disable on phone and disable on tablet. And I'll do the same with the subscribe button. This way you can have different variations on your different devices if you're not happy with the way it's displaying. Disable on phone, disable on tablet. Save this. Save our changes. Make sure everything's saved here. Now let's refresh. Should see no difference right here. Still got everything going on there. And let's hit the F12 again. And there we are. You can see on the iPhone, we've now just got the date there. We're not showing the countdown or the sub button, which is a little tidier. Not so much going on, but that looks quite neat there. And let's have a look on the old iPad. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, you could have included a little more stuff if you wanted to. And of course, you can align these things left, right, center, however you want on the various different devices also. So that's how to sort of sort out your menu on different devices, hiding and showing different options. So I hope that's answered that question of how it looks on mobile. And I hope that's uh, showed you how to tweak your menu on the different devices. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.